first though to Wimbledon where British number one Emma Raducanu has crashed out after she lost in straight sets to France's Caroline Garcia. Let's go to Wimbledon. Jackie Beltrao is there for us. Jackie, what on earth happened? Well, this was a very flat performance from Emma Raducanu, the world number 11 and ninth seed here. I mean, just it just never took off, if, if I'm honest. You know, she, she's had slow starts before, but she just never recovered from this one. She was broken in the sixth game. Her her serve was often under threat, and normally her serve is, is pretty reliable and, in fact, you know, a pretty good weapon. Uh, it wasn't today. There were too many second serves. There was quite a lot of unforced errors. Uh, she lost that first set. 6-3 and then uh, took herself off to try and regroup um, and we thought perhaps you know should be more fired up for the second set and it just it just never really happened you have to say Caroline Garcia is an extremely good player you know a class player um, who has slipped down the rankings what with one thing and another but she is a former world number four and so so talented and she did make Emma look very ordinary out there I think Emma struggled with the matchup uh, with with her game at times with the depth of the ball that um, Caroline Garcia was coming up with but there were too many balls in the net you know she she had to serve to stay in the championships at 5-3 down and and she couldn't do it there were three balls in the net and that was the end of that now she's had an injury the build up to these championships she's had a side strain and that affects everything pretty much that you do in tennis she's barely played on grass she played six games at Nottingham that was weeks ago she's had practice here of course uh, on the Orangi courts but that isn't the same as playing a competitive match on grass. And I just think she's come into it extremely undercooked. Uh, we don't know whether the injury may have flared up during the match, possibly. I mean, she, she, she does look normally more powerful than she did today, but she, she sort of looked weak to me. And is that because Garcia was so much stronger? I, I don't know. I mean, we'll find out more in her press conference, but um, she will be bitterly disappointed because, of course, here was where she did that great run last year to the second week. Um, to the fourth round and went from being a teenager who no one really knew to you know an overnight overnight household name you know, this girl who'd just done her A-levels and come to Wimbledon like a breath of fresh air and was knocking out everybody left right and center and then of course going on to the US Open and winning that out of the blue nobody expected it and that turned her into a global icon is she struggling with the expectation it's possible, it, it's really possible, um, but I think the injury has not helped at all. It, the timing of it is, is just awful, um, and she looked, very, she looked very flat out there today. What else, Jackie? Who else is uh, maybe cheering us Britons up? Oh, well, we can we can look at Cam Norrie. I mean, he had a roller coaster of a match out out there today on court number one against Jaume Munar of Spain. Took the first set, then dropped uh, the next two, uh, then won the fourth six love comprehensively. It was all a little bit even, Stephen, at the start of the fifth, but he wrapped it up six two. So Cam Norrie is going through to the third round, which matches what he did last year. And looking at the way he plays his game and the incredible two years that Cam Norrie has had you really would expect him to get further than the third round you know he's such a consistent player and he's had some fabulous wins on the tour but he goes quietly about his business he's been cycling to the courts and tying his bike up to a lamppost that i can actually see from here and it's got a bike tied to it i don't think that's his bike but that's where he's been tying up his bike he is extremely ordinary quiet just wants to sort of slip through the draw and that that's what he's doing although He's now on show courts, he's on court number one. So it's more difficult to slip through the draw if everybody can see you. But you know, a great performance from him today. I'm sure he's gonna look at that and think, you know, that was a battle and I came through it. So well done to Cam Norrie. Also, we should say well done to Harriet Dart. He's waited three days to play her first match, which is not easy. She's played it and she's come through in straight sets. I mean, that looked like a comprehensive victory for Harriet. And she is the 10th Briton to make it through to round two. And that hasn't happened since 1984. So there's the good news. Terribly disappointing for Emma. She will be absolutely gutted, I am sure. And we now wait for Andy Murray to come out onto court to play his match with John Isner. That will be next. Yep, I can tell you he's just out and he is one lover in the first. And um, Cam Norrie, everyone knows where his bike is, so that's his wheels gone. Thank you, Jackie.
<laughs> yes.